When someone comes to us for advice, it's so imperative that we actually listen to what they're saying. The majority of the conversation, if someone's in a distressed state, should be them talking, say, 80 to 90% of the time, and you listening and then providing advice. It's very easy to make assumptions, to generalise, to stereotype, and to, to rush to help to try and fix it before you've ever actually quite understood or grasped the concept. So if someone comes to you asking for advice, take a step back and just let them talk. Because the other thing is, is oftentimes when people come to you for advice, they're actually wanting an emotional support first. As in they're saying, hey, this, um, this terribly, horribly traumatic thing happened. Help me. They're actually saying, comfort me. Now, if you're saying, hey, do this to fix it, and you're sort of pushing down that fixing path, they're not going to feel like you're listening. They're not going to feel like you understand. And they might actually take offense. They might actually sort of arc up and just, oh, you're not actually helping me here. This is actually not what I'm after. A better approach would be to just let them talk and then ask them, would you like me to listen more? Would you like me, you know, feel free to keep talking to me, however you would phrase this. Would you like me to listen? Or would you like me to offer a suggestion? Yeah. What do you, what sort of support do you need from me right now? So if someone comes to me, because I do the, you know, the, the online mental health advocacy work and all this sort of stuff, they'll, they'll come at me with a particular story and I've taken to saying, well, hey, do you want me to just listen or would you like me to have a, suggest some advice to you? Sometimes they say, hey, can you just listen to me? Other times they say, hey, I need your advice. But if they don't, I always make sure to ask them what they're actually after. Do you want just a listening ear or do you want my actual practical solutions? Because if you come to me saying, hey, I feel depressed, I've been traumatized, this has happened, and I'm like, do this to fix it. That's jarring. But if I'm like, hey, I can relate, I've been there, I, I, you know, I, tell me more, I feel you, all of those sort of stuff. See, that's a different feel here. And then after I've connected with them, then I say, would you like some suggestions? Or would you like to know what works for me and what, what works for other people that follow me? That approach tends to get them on board and tends to move the needle. It tends to help them. Because let's say I just offer the advice and I shove it down their throat. The advice that I would give after listening to them anyway, right? It, let's just assume it's the same advice. If, I, if they don't feel like I've heard it, they won't assume that the advice I'm giving them is useful. They won't assume that the advice that I'm going to suggest to them, which would help, would do anything because they're like, but you don't know me. You've just offered this suggestion without thinking about it. So, if someone comes to you for advice, step back and listen. Let them talk. And before you offer the advice, repeat back to them what you've heard. As in, okay, so, so what, I'm, what I'm hearing you're saying is this, or am I right to think that you mean this? And just sort of rephrase what you heard. And then they'll be like, yes, except for this bit. And you're like, oh, okay, so you mean this. Do you, do you see how we're working out the exact way of communication here? We're working out what exactly they're trying to tell you. If you repeat back to them in your own words what you think you heard, then you're either going to hit the nail on the head and they'll be like, yeah, you understand exactly. Or they'll be like, mm, not quite getting it. And then they'll give you a bit more nuance, a bit more depth, a bit more understanding, and then you can really truly help them with what they're doing, with what they need. And, and by the way, the more you talk about it, the more anyone talks about the, something, the, 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 easy, the more they've processed it, and just the fact of listening is itself help. So if you find yourself in that conversation, listen, repeat back, and then ask them what sort of support they need. And you'll find if you do that, your relationship capital will grow, you'll connect better, and you'll actually be helping people. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more, because I'll be releasing a bit of knowledge video daily. Cheers.